What it do? Bad time crew. Hey man, listen, today I'm here to talk about UFC fighters that I could fix. These are the fighters that I think if I was their coach, if I got in their ear, you know, if they joined the bedtime crew, they listen to Coach Bedtime, the best purple belt on YouTube, they would be the champion right now. They would be contending for the belt right now, dude. And let me just preface this by saying, I'm, of course, I'm not trying to act like I know better. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, say that I think I know better than UFC fighters and their coaches. I know I know better, dude. So let me jump straight into this and put you guys on really quick. Starting off flyweight division, Manel Cup. I could sort this fucking guy out real easy, dude. All right. If I was Manel Cup's coach, I'd be full Goggins mode, bro. Who's going to carry the boats and the logs? I'm going to go full Goggins. I'm going to be running next to him. I'm going to be talking about, don't you fucking eat that other chicken nugget, dude. I'm going to be keeping him on weight. I'm going to sort him out. All he has to do is make weight. He's a star. All he has to do is make that 125 limit. This guy's not a weight bully, though, guys. Seriously, man. Uma Namagomedov is the weight bully, not, not Manel Cup, even though he's bigger than Uma. But listen, dude. I'm going to sort out Manel Cup. Either I'm moving him up to bantamweight or... I'll take away all the fucking food. I will I will bite the bullet. I will chow down on all the food that this dude's trying to eat. I will make sure that he makes weight at flyweight. Otherwise, I trust him. He is a very good striker. You know, I would say, bro, lean into the McGregor shit even more. Fight even more like McGregor, bro. You're a fucking beast, dude. So Manel Cop, all he has to do is dial his nutrition in. I believe if I went in there with my mentality, you know, obviously when I see red body start dropping, dude, I would sort this guy out with my David Goggins level mentality, dude. So that's how I'd fix Manel Cup with my mind. I'd get his mind a bit stronger. I'd get him ready to make weight, dude. Because you guys know me. I'm a flyweight contender myself. So I'm going to sort this guy out. Let's move on to the bantamweight division. And uh, from one genius to another. Listen, guys. Seriously, guys. Listen, dude. Bet Bedtime's going to make videos, dude. He's going to upload videos, you guys. We're going to wear gloves when we fight. Henry Cejudo needs a super genius in his corner to sort him out. He can't do it all himself. That's where I come in. And obviously, when you have a legend of the game like this, you've got to be delicate with him. You've got to make sure you're really clued in on what you're saying. And honestly, what I would just say is, you're a fucking Olympic wrestler, dude. You're not Conor McGregor, bro. Stop trying to fight like a karate fighter, dude. You're, you're an Olympic gold medalist wrestler, bro. Shoot a fucking double leg, buddy. Get the fucking work, all right? <laughs> okay, and eat some vegetables, dude. You're looking short, man. All right? I would sort Sohudo out so fucking quick, dude. If I was in his gym... I would be like, bro, we're not, we're not doing all this shit on the whiteboard. We're not going to be looking at the projector. We're not going to be drawing on the screen. Put your wrestling shoes on. Get in the fucking cage. Start wrestling, dude. You're oh, Sorry, I dropped my mic again. Um, just like I dropped Cejudo if he tried the fucking karate stance. All right, dude, in my gym. All right? That's all I would do. I would literally fix Henry Cejudo by just telling him, dude, you have the answers the whole time. It's been you all along, bro. I'd give him some Steve Kerr, Michael Jordan type shit. I'd be like, you know, Michael Jordan, you know, he tried to be a, a point guard, but he had to realize he was a shooting guard. I'd sort him out. I'd get in his mind. I'd make him think he's Michael Jordan, bro. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'd give him some advice. Like, listen, dude, I think he's going to kick you, dude. Watch out, dude. And he'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing that too, man. Two super geniuses right here. I would sort out Sahuda, bro. I would appeal to his ego. And then I would tell him, bro, you're a fucking Olympic wrestler. Get to work. All right, dude. So that's how I'd fix... Henry Cejudo. Henry, let me know, bro. I can teach you whenever you want. Let's move on. Featherweight division. There's a lot of good options here, but I think there's one man that needs my help. Now, listen, bro, bro. I know you make YouTube videos, but why don't you make a video talking about why the earth is flat? Why are you trying to cover it up? Obviously, I'd have to get through a lot of conspiracy talk with Bryce Mitchell to get through with him. But once I break through, once I say, you know what? here's another angle of the video you know i agree with you bryce there is something suspicious going on here dude you know what i'm saying once i start you know appealing to his fucking personality a little bit i hear him out a couple times when he's like listen dude i'm not saying zuckerberg is a lizard but i'm just saying if you look at him from the right i'd agree yeah bryce yeah dude yeah 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 that's true that's true once i'm in bryce you are literally country khabib why are you what was the plan against josh emmett dude what was the plan against Josh Emmett, bro? This guy is getting out grappled by Yair Rodriguez, bro. I think we got it, dude. Okay, now obviously this is a joke. I'm not trying to be like, oh, you could have won that fight, but it was short notice, right? But I would just say, dude, remember when you were on tough and you would just fucking ragdoll people? Like this guy would just shoot takedowns nonstop and just ragdoll people from position to position, good ground and pound, just flowing on the ground. Dude, let's just lose the striking altogether. 
I feel like in his fights lately, it's been so much time spent trying to strike that it's just fucking him up. And if I was him, I'd go, bro, go full Khabib, go full country in Marab mode, get to fucking work, just like Cejudo. Do. I might start a new gym and just get Cejudo, Bryce Mitchell, Manel Cop in that bitch, bro. Just get all of them wrestling, dude. Bryce Mitchell, I'm turning you into country Khabib, which is what you should be because you are literally so talented as a grappler. It's insane. To pull off a twister in the UFC, you don't know how hard that is, dude. That's fucking crazy, man. So I hope Bryce Mitchell bounce, bounces back, all jokes aside. But if I was going to fix him, brother, I'd fix him up real good, all right? Let's move on to the lightweight division. And listen, this guy may not listen to me because of the complexion of my skin. But Michael Chandler, I think I could fix this guy's problems, dude. I think I could sort out Michael Chandler. Obviously, I'm already writing his promos for him. I mean, it only makes sense that this guy's cutting... WWE level promos because he's talking to the best talker in the business bedtime MMA but all jokes aside a lot of this advice is going to be very similar for these fighters Michael Chandler you have literally ragdolled basically anyone you've tried to wrestle your highlights in Bellator are either fast twitch KOs or you suplexing people on their fucking head dude why don't we just do that why don't we just go overhand double leg overhand double leg front kick double leg Single leg, when it gets defended, break off the clinch, head kick, huge push kick, right hand against the fence. Why don't we just go full, almost Taporia mode? Why don't you just go Taporia mode, dude? Instead of going full fucking, you know, let's just go full Taporia mode. Let's just blast everything to kill our opponent and then add a takedown on the end of it. Michael Chandler quite literally could be the lightweight champion right now if he chose to be, but instead... Bro is tanking. Bro is literally trying to smurf to get that McGregor fight. You're not slick, bro. I'm getting you a title shot. Lace up your bootstraps. See you at the top. Michael Chandler, just wrestle. Please just wrestle. Just, dude, just fucking wrestle. Oh my God, just wrestle. That's genuinely my advice to Michael Chandler. Straight punches and wrestle, dude. And I know his coaches say it to him every time too. But bro just does, does, just blacks out, dude. All right? <laughs> Poor choice of words. Anyways, let's move on. Welterweight division. Obviously, I love the welterweight division, guys. Um, very personally, my favorite division. And there is one fighter that I always think of as kind of like, you know what, if this guy put it all together, he could pull off some crazy shit. And I know a lot of people disagree with me, but I'm going to be honest. I think Kevin Holland has championship potential inside of him. Pause, major pause. But it's almost like he doesn't want to try because he doesn't want to fuck up, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't want to try and he tries to act super like, oh, I don't even care, dude. But it's like, you should care. Like, you're really talented. You should care. You should actually try because you're a good fighter and you're young. And you have nasty jujitsu and great power. So if I was Kevin Holland's coach, if I, was, if, I, if I got the chance to fix Kevin Holland, I would just say, dude, let's, let, let's try and pressure these guys into takedowns because they all want to wrestle against you, right? Um, you pressure these guys into takedowns. Let's, let's, let's try and get some fucking submissions, dude. Let's look, let's look for some submissions. Let's try and initiate some grappling. If we're fighting a really good striker, like if you're fighting JDM, let's shoot some takedowns. Forget your fucking ego, dude. Let's shoot some takedowns because you took down Wonderboy pretty easily and that's not easy to do. You saw Shavkat kind of struggle with Wonderboy in the, in, in the clinch, especially. Kevin Holland's pretty good in the clinch, dude. He took down Derek Brunson. He took down Wonderboy. Like, I really would say, bro, let's just mix this shit up. You're actually a really good grappler, dude. Please just wrestle against MVP and see what happens. You never know. You might have a crazy performance and get and get a big fight next. So let's use the grappling because your power is always going to be there. It's always going to be a threat. Once you add in the grappling, then you can start throwing big shots and you're going to have them confused. But they know you're not going to shoot, bro. They know they can, they can appeal to your ego and win a close decision against you, dude. So that's what I would say if I was Kevin Holland's coach, dude. I'm just saying I could coach this guy to a welterweight title, bro. All right, dude, all jokes aside, Kevin Holland's a good fighter. I would like to see him mix it up a little bit more. Let's move on to the middleweight division. This guy's the reason I made this fucking video, dude. I don't know what compelled me. I was just watching this guy train on YouTube, and I was like, you know what, dude? This guy could do it. This guy could go all the way. He's been so fucking close. All he has to do is he's in Kamaru Usman syndrome, dude, all right? How is that even a fucking statement, bro? What the fuck does that fucking mean? Listen, dude, calm down, calm down. Right, right. listen, bro, listen, bro. What do I mean by Kamaru Usman syndrome for Marvin Vittori? He's almost trying to be too good at fighting. He's experienced, he's tough, right? He's got all these intangibles that, you know, 
very very useful have got him very far in the ufc now he's trying to be like a good striker dude you know what i'm saying now he's trying to wrestle and you know look for a submission he's trying to jab he's trying to low kick fuck all that bro dude you're not bro you're not you're not that guy bro you need to just run your opponent down go full marab mode bro dead ass just go full marab mode i've never seen marvin vittori tired I've never seen him really get, like, I've never seen him get dropped. Mom Vittori, just walk your opponent down. Go full barge mode, bro. Just embrace the fucking orc, bro. Just embrace the tism, dude. Walk this motherfucker down. Spam punches. Spam takedown attempts. Until they gas out from trying to KO you. And boom, problem solved. You're a five-round fighter. You have cardio for days. You have decent power. I would say if you accumulate damage, you could KO some guys, especially late if they're super tired. If you just push a crazy pace. I'm serious, dude. I feel like a Marvin Vittori barge mode, orc mode title run could happen if he decided to just go full Marab. These feel like buzzwords, but I'm dead ass, bro. If Marvin Vittori goes full Marab, who's stopping him? Who's going to chin him? Nobody, dude. So Marvin Vittori, if you hear this, bro, please, please don't get mad. Just get Marab mode, bro. Just go full Marab. Go full Orc, dude. Um, Marvin Vittori, I'm serious, bro. You need to go full barge mode, dude. You could win a title. All right. Let's move on. I've got two more left. Light heavyweight division and the heavyweight division. I think you know who the heavyweight is. But light heavyweight division. Dominic Reyes, dude. This would be an insane project, dude. Now, I don't... You know, Dominic Reyes, he's a fighter that I really like to see. He's a good dude. Um, beat John Jones as well. Very impressive on the resume. He's only lost to good competition except for Ryan Spann. And we know why he lost that fight. It's because of his chin, dude. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, the chin is a huge factor here. I like that he's had a lot of time off since that loss. Now, obviously, there's some health issues involved. I'm hoping he's all good. If he comes back all healthy, his chin will probably have recovered to an, a point where he could have like a Luke Rockhold type performance, right? Walk with me here, dude. His chin has probably recovered to where he won't get KO'd with a jab, right? I'm hopeful that's where we're at, dude, okay? Go full Glover Teixeira. What does going full Glover Teixeira mean? That just means... Sorry, I dropped my mic again. Walk your opponent down, get dropped at some point, and then take them down like your life depends on it and beat the fuck out of them on the ground. Dominic Reyes took down Yuri Prohaska pretty easily. He's a big light heavyweight. He's very explosive. He's got good power on the feet as well. So he can clip people. He can hurt these guys. He's got good kicks as well. I think if Dominic Reyes tries to become a wrestler and become a grappler, he could have some decent success. We have not really seen wrestling be a weakness of his. We've seen him be a pretty strong, you know, body in the grappling. And I think training with Teixeira and, Rey and Pe Pereira, which he is, why not, dude? Why not give it a try, bro? Your back is already against the wall. Why not try go full to share mode? Just walking your opponent down, hands up high, blocking your chin, get in close, land a big shot, get a takedown, see what happens, dude. I think Dominic Reyes could pull this off, dude. So that is my proposal. Dominic Reyes, please go full Glover to share mode in your next fight. Thank you, bro. Last one, heavyweight division. Guys, this is personal to me, okay? This is really, really personal, dude. Curtis Blades, bro. Curtis Blades. I'm so mad even looking at this fucking guy after what happened last time. Curtis Blades. You once said, my brother, you once said you were going to be the heavyweight Khabib. You don't care how boring it is. You want to go full heavyweight Khabib. Where the fuck was that? Where was it, dude? Where was it? It's time, man. It's fucking time. It's now or never, bro. Go full heavyweight Khabib mode. Melt Jelton Almeida. Lay on him. Breathe on him. Go in half guard. Punch his body. You know, hold LT and X the entire time. Beat the fuck out of him. Win that by boring decision. And then lay on top of Stipe Miocic for a title shot. By the way, I will give Curtis Blades this. He should have fought for the belt already by now. He should have already had a title run by now. When he beat Alistair over him, he should have got a title shot. Obviously, DC moved up. I think Curtis Blades would have been a nightmare matchup for DC. And probably Stipe at that point too, coming off the Ngannou fight. So, do I think we got robbed of Curtis Blades being a champion? Yes. Do I think there's still hope here? You know what? Yes. Yes. This is my inspirational ad moment, bro. Yes. Curtis Blades, I believe in you, dude. Okay? Curtis Blades, I believe in you. If you go full wet blanket, if you go full heavyweight Khabib mode, like you said, and just spam takedowns, lay on your opponent, breathe on him heavily, 
you can become a champion, dude. All right, and I want to be with you on that journey, boys. So these are my picks for the UFC fighters that I could fix and what I would do to fix their current standing, their career, how I would coach them. Let me know what you guys think down below. How would these mythical fighters look? Who's a fighter you believe you have the answer to their problems? Make sure you drop a comment down below, boys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, go follow me on Instagram at bedtime MMA, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.